Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring Kid. So today I'm going to be doing a video showing you what I'm taking with me. I'm going uh, away today just for one night um, to one of my mum's best friend's um, house and we're staying with uh, them and her kids. Um, and I thought it would be quite interesting to show you what I would usually take and how much colouring stuff I actually do take um, if I'm going away for a bit. I just want to apologise in advance that the camera will be slightly shaky. I'm just using the video camera and holding it so that it will be more kind of a vloggy type thing. So I, well not a vlog, but you know, I can show you closer what I'm taking. And also it will probably go up after um, I've actually been as well. So hopefully if I get it up, this morning before I go then great but we're going in about an hour so I'm not sure um, and if it doesn't go up today it will go up tomorrow or Monday so uh, let's get started I've got nothing in my front pocket and as you'll notice this is a rucksack and this is the rucksack that I use for school as well um, and I've actually emptied it so it's all uh, clear and stuff so that's, that's really good um, but yeah, my phone will be in there, and I've also got a book that I am about to start reading. Um, and I've got my Tropical Wonderland postcards. And these are the postcards that I don't mind people using. So some people have coloured um, them in the past and things like that. So they're just good to have if people want to colour something with me. But, you know, I don't want them colouring in my books. Um, next in my... Faber Castell grip pencil case. Sorry, it's quite hard to do one handed. I've got uh, my Dermot battery eraser, uh, my big push eraser, some glitter gel pens if people want to use them, and I've got a couple of um, broken blenders there. But the main thing is my 24 set of Staedtler Norris colour, which I actually really like. Um, and yeah, people can use these. And then in this pocket here, I've just got a few Prismacolors that I might use and that are kind of my favourites. Um, because I'm not actually taking my Prismacolors, I'm just taking my oil-based pencils, or my favourite Costa ones. Um, just for ease and, you know, I don't mind people using those so much. So I've got that in that pencil case. I do have some Prismacolors in here though. So this is my pencil case, as many of you might know. Um, that I use for Fantastic Zoo, so I've got my main colour palette that I use for Fantastic Zoo in here. So I've got my Swordfish Sharpener, my Wink of Stella, which I don't use in Fantastic Zoo, but I've got anyway. I've got my Jelly Roll Clear Stardust pen. I've got a Faber Castell Dust Free Rubber. I've got a black gel pen, which I use to write things down with, but I actually don't have the book that I'm taking for that very well. I've got a Faber-Castell Perfection Rubber, um, my Uniball Signo White Gel Pen, um, I've got my Faber-Castell Sharpener here as well, my Prismacolor Blender, I'll just take these pencils out, sorry, I've got my Extenders, yeah, I'm sorry if this won't be the best quality this video. I've got another white gel pen. Um, I've got my Buff Titanium Luminance, the only one I have, and my Derwent Blender. And another Perfection. Uh, what's it called? Uh, another Perfection rubber. <laughs> sorry. So, I'm just going to pop these back. Um, so you can see in here I kind of have three main compartments, so this is really useful to have. I'll put these tools back in a minute, but these are kind of my essential tools. And if you would like a video specifically on kind of my essential tools, then I can do that. I might do that anyway, because I've got loads of free time in the Easter holidays. Um, okay, next I've got my Wildflowers book, which wildflowers book which you might have seen before um, this is a book of loads and loads of different types of flowers in uh, the different months and they're all watercolored and they're beautiful and I would really really recommend this if you want to do realistic flowers uh, for example like world of flowers or something like that and the reason I've got this is because for one of my coloring books it actually lists all the colors in there um, all the colors all the flowers in the back so if I want to get a reference, apart from using my phone if I need to, which I kind of don't want to do just because, 
you know, phone and everything. But I've got this, so yeah, that, that'll be useful. Sorry, I just need to reposition myself. Um, I'm going to get pins and needles otherwise. Um, I've got my swatch book. So, although I don't really need this, I find that if I'm referencing and using my oil pencils, I need them a lot more than Prismacolors because I don't know them as well. Um, and I just feel it's quite useful anyway to have this. If I do just need a piece of paper or something like that, so that's good. It's from WH Smith. Then I've got my random swatchy book, which you probably have seen before, that I just test everything in. Um, and I've got a spare one of these in case it runs out. I've got some paper at the back, so this is just very useful to have to either jot things down or just to scribble in. Here, I'm not actually... Right, my bag is going to collapse now because I've got the books. I'm not actually going to open this, but this is my case that has my Faber-Castell Polychromos in, my Eco Pencils, and my Classic um, Pencils by Faber-Castell. I might actually, I'll just open one pocket for you. This is a 160 slot case. So you can see that I have a mixture of all my pencils here, my Faber-Castells, my Classics, and my Eco Pencils. So excited to use those and finally I've got my books so I'm only taking two technically that I'm colouring in but I've got three um, because I'm taking Ivy and the Ink Butterfly and you may be thinking well why do you need to take it because you finished the book the reason I always take this is because I always it's just so useful to have um, and also I would be really sad if I didn't have it because sometimes I just like to flick through it and also some of the colour palettes that I use or some of the references that I might want I can kind of find in here because you know if there's a particular so here for example if I'm colouring a daisy or something in another book then I can kind of remember just from looking at these what colours I used so for me it's really useful to just have this so that I can kind of remind myself of what I've coloured in the past and how it will help me in my pictures. So that's that one. <clears throat> uh, and then of course, as I mentioned, I have Fantastic Zoo. And what I've been working on is at school, I haven't actually been colouring the animals, but I've been colouring the... Uh, you know everything else so all of the details like the bubbles and the flowers and things like that I've been doing so all I've got left on this one is the fish um, and this is what I will continue doing when I'm away see here I've literally just got the os ostrich to do which is the main bulk of the picture but um, and I've got a couple of others see here the chipmunk I and the, I have and the turtle sorry I haven't coloured those yet and I haven't done the flower bits but I've done everything else so this is just a really useful way of still colouring in it, but not having to worry about getting a reference up if I'm away, so I've got that. And finally, I have a scheme of teeth. Now, I did say in another video, if I would colour in Maria Chol's books, it would mainly just be Drew Reese. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm, I mean, I love the book so much, but at this time I'm not feeling it, and I wanted something a bit more Eastery to do, so I'm actually taking this one instead. And I still love Schematige because I've done loads of pictures in it, and um, it's hardback, which is really nice. The paper is so thick because it's the um, Dutch edition, and I've actually got a work in progress in here, which is one of the other reasons that I want to take this. So here... So it may look like quite a lot that I've got left, but for me that's not too much. So I should, if I just work on this, I might get it done. Um, but there were other pictures that I marked off that looked quite eastery and fun to do. So here, the daffodil page. I would quite like to do that one. I've got a whip in here as well, another one. Sometimes I just start it and then I'm not feeling it, so I need to get back to that and finish it, um, yeah. Um, I did this one for Easter last year. See Willow? I'm not sure if you can see that properly, it's not the best lighting. Um, I marked some others off as well, I'm just flicking through. 
here and out of that one and the bunny here which is cute I think that was it. Yeah, so you know, if if I'm going to work in things, it will probably be this book. Um, but yeah, I'm actually looking forward to coming back to this a bit. So that's nice. So I hope you've enjoyed just this. Sorry, I don't want to see my legs as per book here. So <clears throat> I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. Um, I'm hoping to do more of these in the future because. When I go away, the things that I take are constantly changing. So, you know, I don't have World of Flowers with me. That's just for, you know, easy access and things like that because it won't fit in my bag because it's too square. So for me, that's not really a good book to take because of the size. And I would have had to take something else, uh, like a different bag, which wouldn't have been great. And I just like everything being contained in my rucksack. So... I haven't taken that, but obviously it's only one night anyway, so if it was longer than that, I would definitely be taking it. Um, but, you know, um, I have just done another picture in it, so I can kind of, I can live without it for a, a day, you know, kind of not colouring anything. So, yeah, uh, comment down below if you did like this video and you would like to see more of these. If there are any suggestions that you have for future videos, please let me know. I'm always open to suggestions and I have more time now. So I will hopefully get round to them soon. Um, just to let you know, I will be doing a flip through of World of Flowers. Uh, you know, how far I've um, gotten with it. Uh, I've coloured a couple more pictures just so that, you know, it's not just the same pictures that you've seen. There are some new ones. I will try to do a couple more before I upload that. So it will hopefully be up kind of in the next week or so, depending how much time I have. Um, so yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And I will see you again on Colouring Kid. Bye everyone.